Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all doing? Great too. Good. That's really great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. And welcome to your first lesson of numeracy in week number 23, right? So in today's class as well, we will be continuing with the revision of the topics like we started in the last week because we are done with the syllabus and now we are on revision chapter. So we are already done with two topics, revision of two topics. Now in today's class, we will be doing the next one, okay? So today's topic and the today's exercises, they are related to fractions and shapes, right? So how many of you remember what are fractions? Can somebody define fraction for me? Fraction means part of a whole, right? Let's say I draw a square in front of you. And then I color the two out of it. Now I ask you to make a fraction of how many of them are shaded. Make a fraction of how many of them are shaded. So how many are shaded? Two. Divided by the total number of boxes. So how many of them are there? One, two, three, four. So the fraction would be two by four. What if I shade another one? And I ask you to make a fraction of how many of them are not shaded. So what would be that? One over four, right? So this is how we make a fraction. This tells us about the part shaded, colored, selected, whatever. And this tells us about the whole number of fractions or the, the, the numbers in which the thing is totally divided into, God, right? This box was divided into four. So we have written four over here. If it would be divided into six, eight, whatever the number would be, we will be writing that number over here, right? Okay. I'm going to share the screen with you. Let's watch uh, this video about the fractions together and we will start the exercise. Let's learn about reading fractions and writing fractions. Interruption. One upon four. One here is a numerator and four is a denominator. You can also say one over four, one upon four, or one by four. There are different ways to say it. Standard method says that this is one fourth. In general use, you call it a quarter. And there are many other variations. Okay, great. So they have started with how you can read out fractions. So there are different ways of reading a fraction. You can either call it as two by four, two upon four, two fourth or two over four. There are four ways of reading a fraction, right? And there is one way of writing it, okay? So now I want you to please open your book page number 117. This is page number 117, please open this. The very first question is related to the fractions. It says that write down the fractions that is unshaded in the following figures. Now, if we talk about the first one, how many of them are unshaded in it? One, two, three, four. So the numerator would be four. And what would be the denominator? What is the total number? Eight, excellent. So the fraction would be four over eight, right? Excellent. Look at the next one. How many of them are unshaded? Three, and what is the total number? Six. So the fraction would be three over six, right? Look at the last one. How many of them are unshaded? Two. And how many of them are the total number? Four. So the fraction would be two over four, right? Okay. Look at the next exercise. It says circle a quarter of the buttons. 
Now in the video, we have just learned that quarter mean one fourth, right? If you are supposed to one fourth of each button, so count them together and then divide them in four. You can see that it has four pairs of four buttons, right? So this means that one quarter would be this one pair of four buttons, right? So they are ask you that circle a quarter of the button. So the quarter would be this much only. In the second one, they say one fourth of eight button. What would be the one fourth of these eight buttons? Only two buttons, excellent. So you are supposed to circle only two or you can just write two over here, okay? In the next one, it says circle one fifth of the buttons. Now how to find the one fifth? You're supposed to divide these in fifth part, these buttons. Make a triangle around it, then divide that triangle in five parts and then tell me how many buttons would be or one. what would be the one fifth of it. Draw a boundary line around it with your lead pencil and then divide that in yes. It would be one and a half, right? Yes. Then one fifth of 15 buttons. What would be the one fifth of 15 buttons? Divide these 15 buttons into five parts. So how many buttons would we come in one part? Three, excellent, very good, okay. Turn the page. Now in this, it is this exercise is opposite of what we did in the last page in that the, uh, you know, pictures where the shapes were already colored for us and we were supposed to write fractions. Over here, the fractions are written and we are supposed to color or shade these pictures according to those fractions, okay? Isn't it interesting? Yes, okay, so let's start this. The first fraction is one over two. So the numerator part basically tells us that how many of them should be shaded. So if it is one by two, this means that you are supposed to color only one out of two. So color only one part. It's a square rectangle. And in that, you are supposed to color only one out of it. Got it? So color it, please. Let me know when you are done. Okay, in the next one, they say two out of three. So this means that you are supposed to shade two. You can shade any two. You can shade these two, these two, these two, anything, whatever you want to. Yes, done. Okay, great. And then we are supposed to shade one over four. Out of these four, you are to, supposed to shade only one. So you can shade any one of it. Okay, now three out of three. So this means that you are supposed to shade all of the three out of the three. Got it? So shade all of them. Done. Okay, in the next one, it says two by four, two over four. This means that you are supposed to shade two out of the four. So again, you can choose any two out of your choice. You can choose these two alternatives, these two, the adjacent two, these two, any one, whatever you want to. Yes, done. Okay, great. Now this last one is similar to the first one. It is again one by two. The only difference is that in the first one, we will be having a different shape that was a rectangle. But over here we have a circle. And again, you are supposed to shade only one out of two, right? So shade one. Done all of you? Okay, great. So that was the topic for today. What we have done, we have revised fractions. There are two types of exercises which can come for you in the uh, exam related to fraction. One can be that fractions would be written for you and you are supposed to shade the things 
uh, images according to that. And the other way can be that the shades, uh, the, the pictures are shaded and you are supposed to make fractions out of it. So there can be two possibilities, right? Is there any confusion in this topic? Okay, great. So do practice at radio home as well. And let me know if you find anyone. Uh, we will be resolving it together. That was all for today. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Allah Fizz.